Hey everyone, it's Emily with Hearty Soul. Welcome back to the channel. This week we are on tour in Denmark to show you our trip and our agenda there as Minnesota dairy farmers. So we attended this group tour in Denmark to really do some research into the biogas facilities and connections with the local farmers there. We also got to tour a brand new Stern Home sand separator and meet so many great people on the way. We got to eat lots of great food, take a canal tour, climb a really tall church tower, and see some really cool sights and sounds of the city. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm totally expecting that you'll not want to sit through one hour of this video. So please take the pieces that you want and leave the rest, whether that be visiting the city itself or taking a biogas plant tour or visiting with a hog farmer or checking out the sand separator with us.
had a fifteen uh, percent uh, uh, water in this. Okay. And normal when you buy is just a uh, ten or something. So this is just all all kind of of straw. Rice and um, what kind of thing? Maybe. Bill or Ru or Hau or Bygge or Alkohol. So old barley, wheat, uh, everything basically yeah. gets his hands on. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. I met around 32, 32. Yeah. So you live too far south. I mean, we're probably we're probably average 25. Yeah, we're So so they go together good, right? <laughs> But it's also, I think it's a bit different because you have another type of mice. You're probably about four meters high or something like that, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And ours is between two and a half and three meters. Yeah. Oh, that's what you were saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not Yeah. How many times a day do you milk? Some people do three times, yeah. but uh, the average are doing it twice. But not here, because when the chef sells the turkey, so it's not good when they feed them. Yeah, <laughs> right. <You don't> like <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I could go to one, I had to do it, but it's not good. <laughs> uh, the system here cannot, we cannot uh, do it. Uh, our system here is not functional when we should have a house to live in three times. Is you have to so the, the the standing time be too much and not to uh, to to rest uh, the uh, yeah, rest yeah rest time is not not good enough for me. so that's that's because we not do it three times okay we have so uh, we have to, uh, Eric House so we just it's more, almost close to we have to do it three times okay we cannot uh, go to the next level because. Mm. Cannot get more and more. <coughs> There's all, uh, almost 40 kilos, kilos per, per day every time. Okay. So that would have been good for the for the health to get the three times. Mm. Okay. That's the average yield on an hour in America. It really depends, but... So that like, was a very difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, we're low 90s pounds. 95, so 95 kilos. Yeah, 93, 94. Ah, he's better than you. Yeah!
track. Det er jo bare taget med i kun til 10 minutter. Ja, tak. Jeg And take the shit there, young shit, eller what we call it? Sorry. <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry, my English is It's my daughter, Caroline, a little bit off. <laughs> and um, you put the bag uh, in the big there. You come with one, take one. Sometimes, sometimes they just put it on other farm. Vi har uh, kylbeholdere på andre gårde, ja. hvor der ikke er, er dyr. Yeah. They have storage tanks on other farms, where they can return the big estate. So they pick it up here, and maybe deliver it back here, or some of the other tanks. <coughs> and if you notice that funnel there, you saw that's the same as we had at the plant, right? So it just fits with the car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we made um, heavy food itself. Uh, Sir, there, there was a question here if there's a barrier. I mean, so no, I think it's just a small one they take it from, and then the big one is where they return it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you can, you can come over here, you can see it's that. Uh, it's a smaller one, this is where they take it from. Oh, that's a small one. And then it's, it's, uh, the problem is open, they can't come it over there, but it's not that right? They want to open from the store and store. Det er før 45 tons. Ja, det er meget byg. Og så er der et elektrisk spil derovre, som vi kan åbne, hvis ikke der er mere. Så det kommer altså ret nyt gyld hele tiden. The free tank is 40 cubic meter. That almost fits a truck. They can open it over there, so it runs out in the free tank and it goes in the truck. Well, I, maybe I could start from scratch, <laughs> so we'll, uh, yeah. I made the oil system. Men, men, men this, uh, this go okay, or the um, truck drivers uh, come, or they are okay, or they call me if they have problems. Men this drive okay, there is nothing problem. So, yeah. Can we see that? What? Can we see that? No, uh, we made um, every, um, every food self. Uh, and put uh, milk or kartoffel or fish or yeah um, and uh, corn in the silo there then blew empty uh, three times for the year uh, so uh, so i am um, so the christmas i hope we can uh, make one big so yeah and and the most of all are they forskellige hvede og bygge eh hvede og bygge yeah so wheat and wheat and barley is what yeah. what you yeah. yeah. it's because yeah corn for them is mice no, oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. We, I do that all the time got, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 translation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, skal vi ikke skal vi gå i leden og stå og så tage alle spørgsmålene? Um, How big is that thing? Uh, 3,200 kubik. Yeah. We have um, in, um, in, my, in my family, we have so we can have uh, 30,000. 30,000 yeah. tons yeah. storage. Yeah, storage. It's ready now for a drive outside. You can only have rain, stop it. And, yeah. so 840,000 gallons. Wow. Uh, is that covered? This one is not covered. 
Det er ikke nogen overdækning på den her. Nej, Nej. der er ingen overdækning. Øh, vi har faktisk fået tilskud til det. Ja. Så ja. måske. Yeah, they, they ask for, yeah, they're trying to get that done uh, as for a subsidy for it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So that be a dome one like that or a floor? Yeah, it would be, be like these tents you see, right? The, the same you see on our at our yeah. biogas side. Just this is the same one we have at our side. Ours is just bigger yeah. because it holds. And then you have that triangle tent. And then we have we have some with that one. That's because we're taking gas out. Yeah. But then the triangle, you'll see that all around here. That you'll have something like that with a triangle tent on it. I so long the dip stall is coming to be made, so got it so much. I know. That's a swimming layer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, this table is from um, then made from uh, two years. Ja, to years back og seven years back. Vi har um, eight um, days in this uh, for small pigs that come inside. Ja. Yeah. Uh, yes. Vi ja, vi går to machine house, så kan vi ja, speak about. Ja. Yeah. It hasn't really cost him anything. So Nature Energy gives like a so these funnels that we use to give back, and then with this starter package that you get as a farmer, and then because the way the system he has, because there's this not that too big tank, and he can open up, and it all comes out. Then he doesn't need an agitator; it works fine. If if we were to be if something doesn't work, I mean he he might need to buy an agitator to do that. And he said if if he were doing a new one, he would put in an agitator. If you did a new barn, you put an agitator right away. But here, like, as long as it's working, I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And because uh, basically, like, because I think one of the pig slurry is thin, yeah. And you have that system, you can open, and then you can like get it all in one go. Yeah. If you had a little bit bigger tank, like a two, three days tank, you would need yeah, an agitator, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So, so the system he has here, he has to do like think about when he turns. I mean, when he opens that, and if there's enough, because. If we come and there's not enough to fill up the tank, then is that then is the mist of the milk put it? Yeah, it's yeah, it's like that. It's a cost. Yeah, yeah. It will cost him a little. If we can't fill up the truck, it will cost him a little bit. So, so therefore, he has to make sure that oh, is there enough manure? Yeah. yeah. And I think we have big dairy farms where we come five times a day. They don't have to think about anything. I mean, then I get it's just they think like always have the agitator running all the time, and we come five times a day. But here it's a, it's a little bit different. So Søren, he, he, we have an agreement with Søren. We come every day, and if they say he knows tomorrow I won't have enough, he will call in and say don't come tomorrow. And then, yeah. So his brother is handling what comes back, yeah. and Søren only calls in if we don't, if we cannot pick up. So yeah, I couldn't have it. Yeah. And I'm hiding down for two weeks. Thank you. Yeah, it's a 
vi skal, jeg skal lige ind i sin lykke i deroppe, så hvis du kører. Ja, 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 hvis du vender rundt her og holder her, så tror jeg, det er meget fint. So we're just identifying that there is no smell here at the Nature Energy Plant.
and then like a millisecond, it would be like both of them going like 50 miles an hour, and then like a millisecond after, the Volvo would go 30 miles an hour forward, the other one would go 30 miles an hour backwards, so that would be like a 90 miles an hour change in the direction, that's what kills you, right, it's the change, the change is, it's me, right, yeah, so that part, that's part of it, right? Uh, Deer Park, also Wisconsin, and we are signed a few more contracts, uh, so we're definitely the, available in, in the U.S. at the moment. So all here from Minnesota, is, is it right that Wisconsin is sort of ahead of Minnesota in doing stuff? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh that was a System over here, the thin manure. We are we are in a in a rotary drum. We are separating the thick from the thin. The thick is going down here. There is a tank down down here, and are ready to be transported to the biogas. The thin is going back in the system. The system are automatically controlled by PLCs and it's recognized as simplicity. That's, that's the key word. We have been doing sand separation for 25 years. We are originally from a totally knowledge industry. We are from the wastewater industry. So this, this is not a new thing. This has been uh, done for 25 years. And the first sand was a is still running. We have around 200 sand walls around in different communities in Denmark. We have five installations in Denmark by farmers, two in Holland, and soon two in uh, in the U.S. So just after Easter, we have two. And in fact, the service needs. Of course, we need to do service, but on the sand walls, almost none. We need to change the. the the cyclone uh, every two or three a year, depending on how many hours we have been running. We, take, we tend to say about eight, nine thousand hours running. It's so quiet. We use fresh water here, around 50 gallons uh, an hour when it's running per hour. We need fresh water to clean up the sand. We'll see the sand a little bit later. We need also fresh water for the rotary drum. That's around 120, 130 gallons an hour. This is running. The farmer here has around 800 ladies. So this system is running about 10, 12 hours a day, then stop. And the system with 2,000, a little bit more, almost full time. 
we need an hour and a half to, be, to do the service, to do the cleaning uh, every day. Yeah, he's delivering to a bike list uh, close by here, three or four kilometers from here. So the reason why you take out sand is that I mean there's no gas in sand. So so we don't want it over in our place and the biogas plant over here of course we don't want it either. Also it's it's hard on machinery if we get it in and out of our truck. I've always said if we took sand it would probably be like the cement truck, it would need to be rotating <laughs> yeah. to make sure it came out again in the other yeah. end. Uh, and of course it will take a lot of time to scoop it out, it will just be, again, it's already a lot of water, we are driving back and forth, sand also would be really, really bad on any yeah. distance case, so it makes sense to, uh, no, it's, we have to get it out. Yeah. We need to have a dry matter around 8, 9, 10 percent, right now it's 11, because that's what ski requires at the yeah. biogas plant. You, you, you do more or less the same, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But we, we visited, Ben and I visited, that, 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 that biogas plant we visited yesterday, close to that is, is a dairy farm, and that is so close that actually his, his rotary is not running, is that correct, right? Yeah. Yes. So because it's so close, it, it, the, it, the business case is okay that we just drive it back and forth because it's like right next door almost. So then he doesn't have to bring up that dry matter. So we can also talk about that in terms of how far are you from us, does it make sense that you do this? If we arrive next door or, or not, so that's also a distance. And uh, there is other companies who are doing the same thing. Uh, the only one thing we are ahead of the others, that is the finest of the sign. We tend to say we do beach sign. And we can do down to 125 micron. Wow. And then he is running with 200 to 400 microns right now. And that is a matter of the cow welfare in, in the barns. Yep, Gary and Emily, yeah, they don't need 100 cows on sand. We, we guarantee the recycling of the sand, 90%. Right now he's running more than 95%. The one uh, installation in, we have already in US, Maplewood, before we started up before Christmas last year, he was buying 16 truckloads a week with the sand, spreading the, the manure in the fields, also with the sand. Right now he is uh, he's, uh, around maybe a little bit below one truck a week. That's the difference. So that's the 15 loads reusing, reusing. The energy consumption, now we are in Denmark, we have been focusing on energy for decades. So quite low energy consumption compared to what we see others are doing. But that's due to a Danish issue for, for many, many years. Our founder, Kai, uh, he has founded the company uh, 25 years ago. He's still uh, with us. Uh, he takes care of uh, the engineering and the development, etc., etc. And one of the neighbor farmers in the west coast of Jordan was uh, approaching Kai for more than 10 years ago. How come you cannot do the sand separating out of the, the cow manure? And then Kai started up and it has been screeching, fighting years for many years, I can tell you. And suddenly he has the system. Now we have standardized, make it a standard. So we're doing the same over and over again. Uh, so that's, that's the secret here. We have a daughter company uh, established in the U.S. a couple of years ago. We have found a dealer uh, in the U.S. that is a max contractor uh, placed in Menominee, Wisconsin. Uh, former employees of, of uh, Camerol. So they know the business. Combined with our experience, we deliver the, all the installation we do uh, the installation on, on place, but the concrete, the buildings, etc., is taken care of by MAC contractors. And the, and the final service afterwards, that will be MAC contractors. And then they have done on in, in the backhand, if I say so. That's how we do it. Do you have an idea of the price? We are talking about the 4 August system, around $700,000. Uh, a little bit less if you only have two or three. 
that's the level. Then you have to add the building, etc. Mm -hmm. I think Mac approximately is saying with buildings, uh, tanks, etc., between one million and one and a one and a half, depending on how many tanks and the civil works, how how huge this yeah. is. But the sand is costing you guys how much? Money? Sorry. How much you spend on sand a week? For a year, we're about 120,000. So, so it pays for itself yeah. over 15 years. We need to control your sign before you are doing this. Yeah. yeah. What comes in comes out. You have very That's fine sand, right? Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Ours is too fine. Yeah. They won't yeah. be able to. Below uh, below 125, you will not get it out. It will research. Yeah. No. Please go around the. Uh, what Maybe. what's the maintenance every day? What do you got to do? The farmer he has to uh, to do this. This is a maturator. Yeah. If there is anything the raw manure, like stop trap, here. Like a trap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have to empty this. You have some knives. You have to change maybe every second month. Okay. Then you have to go around to see if there any any noises anywhere. Yeah. That's all. No then the, no. no. I'll show you uh, a part of it later. Okay. Please see the sign. Then he brings this is out in the blue sky and leave it there for two or two weeks. Then he can really he do the sign back in the barn. I think here every Wednesday, once a week. One thing we talked, so we talked, yeah, so Emily is a dairy farmer together with Terry. Over here. Yeah, uh, you're there, yeah. So these are the dairy farmers that yeah. we bring on this tour. We also have a uh, retired dairy farmer right here. And um, so one, one thing we talked about is this, you have 800 cows and that you think, I mean, you're thinking about whether you should do this or whether you should change bedding and all that when we, when we start up in the U.S. One thing we were, we were talking about is the idea of having like a, Maybe not a big, but like a small community digest. Let's say two farms of 800 cows, or or three yeah. with 2,000. We, we don't have any experience with it. No. Uh, but I want to ask Denver. you is if 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 this leaves around, I mean, the, what you would worry about is diseases, right? Yeah. Have you done testing if it lies around? I mean, is there any bacteria left? Could you? Not not after three weeks. No, it's almost done. Yeah. Yeah. So that's because that's one thing we thought yeah. about. That that could be interesting, right? To then, share then, it with that, two farms. Yeah, exactly. Done, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think that that makes a lot of sense because it is a big decision. I mean, you know sand, right? Mm -hmm. There's a no-brainer to do yeah. cows. We on have sand, uh, right? the installations right in, in counts of uh, cows. We have one in the south of Piotr, mm -hmm. two thousand five hundred cows. Yeah. This system is running uh, almost twenty-five hours a, week, uh, a day. <laughs> yeah. But you, you saw it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. A couple of weeks ago. Here is 800, if we have another one, 700, and two of 400. Yeah. They are running with one over. This is ready for the kids to play with. Uh, Brian, <laughs> that was the one at, at, at 2,500 cows. There you would see a little bit of fiber, a little bit of straw. It's, yeah. still, it's still nice, yeah. but you could, you could, if you took this sand and you took yeah. this, you can tell the difference. Mm -hmm. and Brian, he bought that system seven, eight years ago. Yeah. So still running. But he could get it looks like it. If, if, if he just yes. didn't run it as hard, yeah. he could get it to look yeah. like it. There's no problem. Right? Yeah. How old is this one? This is only, uh, we, we didn't make the takeover Three months? protocol within <laughs> this month, yeah. One yeah. year. Earlier okay. this month, yeah. But I, I saw this is the newest. One month. I see that older one where it's just also not run yeah. hard. It looks like this. It looks like the yeah. same. So, yeah. What is nice here is this part is indoors. It will be like that in the US also. That's maybe a it will be a little bit more little indoors bit because, yeah. Of, yeah. 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 because of the cold yeah. winters. Yeah. The other yep. two I've seen here in Denmark, actually the, the building ends here, the augers come out of the building and the sand ends up outside yeah, just because yeah. well, it never freezes almost in Denmark, not to an extent where you can work mm -hmm. with this.
Hmm. You know why he chose to do it inside? I guess was it the farmer who chose he wanted this inside, or is it a new way you're setting it up? No, it's it's due to weather conditions. Ah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. it so, is. Okay, so you're rec are you recommending it? Or yeah, it we are recommending okay. it. Yeah. Okay. I feel like it would save a lot on the equipment that would be outside. Yeah. Any part of it that's yeah. exposed to the weather. Okay. Whatever it is, and we can monitoring from our factory as well. You have the raw manure here. You have the piston pumps, and the thing is going this way to the rotary, and the sand manure is going down, and the sand over here, and then the sand free is just beneath here, and then you have a you have a, a the thin manure, and from the sand free manure to another tank, and the biogas company are collecting from this tank, and he will get a signal when he has to come. To empty this. So that means the drivers come, I need to Yeah, I need to be emptied. Nice. Otherwise we stop because we would overflow. The capacity, uh, that's around, uh, now we're counting in gallons, uh, around 6,000 gallons an hour. Half of it is going at the top to this one. This is separated in two, two separate portions. Half of it is going down in, in, the, in, the, in the sand separator system. That's, that's how it is. So that's around, that can be 5,000, that can be 6,000 gallons an hour running. And then it's just a matter of how many cows you have behind the orbits. That's that's how it is. The same thing if you want to farm, especially in the US, they have very, very big, uh, some of the dairies are very big. If, if you wanted to do something at a 5,000 cow dairy, could, could two, you, two installations. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. So is there something like, is there something to the size of this that, I mean, if you, you can't just make it bigger and then it would No, it, it is the same size. The only difference is the August. So we have 5,000 cows. You need two separate systems that can be placed uh, close to each other. Yeah. yeah. So what's the capacity? How many cows would this? We say we tend to say two thousand cows. Two thousand yeah. for one Al unit. Although we have one installation with two thousand five hundred. Okay. The one in Trillium, we have two thousand three hundred cows. Okay. So. Testing the limit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What is the different sizes of this and like how many cows, the smallest to the biggest and where does like the business case Four, fit? 400 to 2,500 here okay. in Denmark. There is of course economy of scale in this business. That's for sure. 800 is much better than 400. Yeah. Because the capex are not so big difference for, for, from 400 to 800. And even more when we're talking about 1,500, 2,000. The East economy of scale. Like two augers and up, that's sort of really good. Is that sort of like that size you, you want to? Yeah, two or two augers. Yeah. yeah, this size and up. Yeah, that I would recommend. Yeah. And how many cows are on this farm? Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Yeah. And then we have also some young stocks over here. <laughs> we have a front hole cabinet. Yeah. All the electric wiring is put into a separate room to avoid uh, all the odor from uh, the manure. Moisture. Moisture, yeah, yeah. And this is done by us, by uh, our people. And we will deliver it at place and take care it's running and together with Mac and afterwards the service are done by Mac. That's how we do the business. Mm -hmm. Of course we know uh, nothing uh, should if you stop, you stop. Good. We need to have that running 24 hours right. a day. Mm -hmm. Do you know what their cell count is here? He is, uh, yeah, he's around uh, 130,000 right now. Okay. And they bed how many times a week? How often do they put the sand in? Once a week. Just once, once a week. week. Yeah. 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 The major components, uh, they 
Some farmers are doing most of the service themselves and some ask us or to do it. That's the difference. Yeah. I think you do the same thing in the US. Yeah. Depending on the different issues. Some farmers maybe have a guy who are really interesting in, in this. So does Mac require to carry a certain amount of parts on to be a dealer? They have a they have a already parts uh, at their place in the Menominee. Okay. Yeah. So that's the system. Here. We do not every. We don't want to mix fast. Fast because then you have the separation too fast. You have to slowly get the sand out of the manure. It's not a. It's not an easy deal to do. Yeah. You have to be careful. Yeah, I mean our sand is not far off of that, but it's just it's just a touch finer. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they, they sampled it. I don't. I never heard the mic grab size of it. We do. Uh, we do a sand analysis before we start.
have to do something. <laughs> into the hotel and then change and then we have dinner at the Tivoli at 7. Um, the Tivoli is that Disney inspired space. We haven't seen it yet. What time are you going to be up with the the new camp's thawed out basically, but I mean there will always be a residual some that's too covered. Like a plastic that's too covered in food stuff or I mean plastic has to be pretty clean and stuff like that. in 1794. That was the reason why the royal family moved to a maiden Gold castle. Please take a seat. We're going to sail under a low bridge. There's the hole on it. Please sit down in the back. Is that one of my own? So this is King of Bob KC.
Families residents in Copenhagen and we can understand that they are at home today we can understand that because the flags are hoist on top of their palaces and the right one that's where the Crown Prince Frederick and his Australian wife and their children they are living and in the left one that is the home of Her Majesty Queen Margaret II the green church dome right behind it that is Frederick V Church he was the king who founded this whole area of Copenhagen but the church is better known as the marble church. That was because it was meant to be all made of marble. In Denmark, we do not have any mountains, so there was not enough marble to find here in Denmark, none at all. It should all come down from Norway. Too much of an enterprise. So the church was just finished without the marble, but the name stuck with it. It can then boast to have the biggest church dome in the Scandinavian countries. Lovely to see from the inside as well. so much but very peculiar for the stock exchange is this tower with the four dragons intertwining their tails. Everyone from the farmers we met to our tour guide to the people of Copenhagen itself was absolutely incredible and I would definitely recommend checking out Copenhagen. Put it on your bucket list. It's an amazing city.
If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like it and subscribe for more videos just like this. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great week.